get the review started. I'm gonna go over a few of the specs real quick. Comes with a 5.5 inch blade, 1095 steel, hardwood handles, and the Old Hickory Hunter comes with a leather sheath. Uh, we went over a lot more stuff in the comparison video, so check that out. I'll put a link in the description for it. But that's just a few of the specs that we had for it. We've been using these Old Hickory Hunters quite a bit over the past six months. It's basically been my primary knife for the past six months because I wanted to get a lot of use out of it, a lot of testing during that time. This knife has been with me down in Texas. I cut up a hog down there. Up here, I've cut up two deer this season and a lot of small game. I've also used it a lot around the camp and on the hiking trail as well. And if you watch our videos, you know that I like to throw old hickory knives at trees a lot. So that's not really what this knife's designed for, but it's held up quite a, it's held up pretty good, all things considered. To go over what I've done with the old hickory in the last six months, I've cooked a lot with it. Um, it's a great tool for that. I've carried it multiple months in a row, hot climate, cold climate, uh, took it to Texas with us, and it's been holding up pretty good. Uh, I've seen it on, it's doing really good, but it's been a great knife, the old hickory hunter. Going over the old hickory in this final cut, the only major problem that arised is with the sheaths. Kind of like we kind of said it was probably going to happen on our comparison video. Well, it did happen to me. Um, I carried it a lot and this bottom piece, this bottom stitching right here, it looks like just kind of one thread came out of mine. But kind of a blessing to disguise here. I went ahead and added a snap onto the back of my sheath. So taking it on and off of your belt is so much easier. And I mean, it works great. We might have a future uh, video on how to make this. On our previous videos about the old Hickory Hunter, um, we actually modified um, Hawkins knife here. We put a patina on the blade, charred the scales and epoxied them in. It's a very solid knife, very durable. Mine on the other hand, we left it completely stock. No modifications whatsoever. Um, I guess my final impressions of that, I've got an old hickory that's modified and I feel like I can maybe abuse it a little bit more, but that's not to discourage you. If you don't want to modify your old hickory, this one's held up great. I mean, it's getting a natural patina on it um, on its own you know, I've had this knife wet. I've had it bloody. I haven't taken great care of it. When I do wash it and sharpen it, I'll put oil on it. Just regular vegetable oil, cooking oil of some variety. But uh, it's held up great. Just bone stock. One thing with throwing the knife like I do, the, uh, the wooden panels here are a little bit loose. And I've had that happen a few times. I've just smashed the rivets back down, tightens it up a little bit, so. But that's how they've held up. That's a comparison on six months of use on how an old hickory will hold up stock versus the modifications that we've done. There you go, folks. The final cut of the old hickory five inch hunter. Yep, overall great knife. Highly suggest it. Leave it stock modified great knife overall yeah and thank you all for all the new subscribers thank you all for the loyal subscribers that we've had for a while we promise we got a lot more exciting videos coming your way on hawkmire outdoors